I want to ask you about Armando Baycott. Uh, he's kind of slowly and steadily turned into one of you guys' most consistent players this season, especially on the offensive end. Are you at all surprised with how consistent he's been and, and what kind of leaps have you seen him take since his, his freshman season in Chapel Hill? Not surprised at all. He, uh, I know he always is very talented and very hard work. I mean, I figured he was going to turn the corner this his second year. Um, pretty much just, I mean, it's, it's something I expected because I saw how hard he worked over the summer and knew how hard he was working at home. I mean, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, I mean, it's nothing that I haven't seen from him before. So, I mean, I expect it night in and night out. Mike Toper, then CL. Hey, Garrison, good to see you, man. A uh, bit of a two-part question. One, uh, considering how the first game went with State, how much are you looking forward to, you know, giving them one back at your place? And I know we're 14 games into the season, but as a senior, does it take anything away, the fact that you won't have 20,000 people screaming tomorrow like you normally would for this type of matchup? Uh, the second year, I'm so, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's a, it's a lot of a difference. Uh, I can't think about that. I mean, I know how excited our fans get when we play state. Uh, it's, 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 it's a Could you uh, repeat your first part of the question? I'm sorry. It's just your typical rivalry. I mean, we know that they got the best of you over at state. How much are you looking forward to to trying to even it and give them one back on your home turf? I mean, we always try to win rivalry games like this. I mean, just something that means something to us. I mean, we desperately need like a, a conference win. So, I mean, I think we should we think it's a game we really need in order to get us going. CL, then Greg Barnes. Hey, Garrison, from when you've had to go against Dayron Sharp in practice, what do you think makes him such an effective rebounder? Yeah, um, just his tenacity. I mean, just his effort to try to get every rebound on the offensive end. I mean, I think it's great. Just I think it's just his energy level always wanting to get the ball off the glass. I mean, I think it's, it's just something he naturally has the talent for. Greg, then Brandon. Hey, Garrison, Roy mentioned that that first state game being one of the uh, the worst defensive games that one of his teams have played. Just curious, what did you take away from, from that loss individually and then as a team and uh, the focus and the improvement since that game on, on defense? Yeah, just uh, personally, just a lack of uh, lack of attention to detail. Just didn't have that. Um, just something we didn't have. Uh, I, I didn't think we were all there at that game. I think that was just one of the games we just didn't come prepared to play. I think they Obviously, they played better than we did. So, I mean, I think that we'll be more focused, especially the name practice and tomorrow, of course. Brendan, then Davis. Hey, Garrison. Uh, I'd asked Roy earlier about tempo. You guys are 75th nationally in terms of pace. He said um, he hates he hates the pace you guys are playing with right now. He said it's a slow break, not a fast break. Um, what do you attribute that to, and, and what are some ways that you guys can start to try and remedy uh, playing at a faster pace? I mean, it's just something we – I mean, it's, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we're ever going to play fast enough for him. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay. I think we're getting better at it. I think we'll be – what we need to be at the end of the season. So that would be really good for us. Thanks. Davis, then Tom Shanahan. Hey, Garrison, you've scored double figures in the past three games. What's been what's been the biggest change for you offensively? Nah, just being myself. Just uh, coming out being aggressive. Just something I don't really have to change. Just, just be myself. That's all I got to do. Tom. Hey, Garrison, uh, you're from Hey Karen's home state, so I'm – Guessing you know a little bit more about them than most kids your age, but what should uh, kids your age uh, know and appreciate about Hank Aaron? Uh, one, he's a, a true Alabama legend. Uh, of course, on and off the baseball field, I think he's a. Uh, uh, my granddad he spoke about him a couple of times. When he said like one of the greatest human beings that somebody can model them, themselves after. Um, also, I heard that uh, just somebody you lose. I mean, it's just a it's a tragic loss. For Alabama in the world, I mean, I think Muhammad Ali described him as the only person he would aspire to be like. So, I mean, that just speaks volumes to who Hank Aaron was.